Hello friends in today's episode we'll look at two air pruning techniques does the air pruning technique really work well let's find out the basic concept behind air pruning is that when roots come into contact with air they die and then the plant grows even more vigorously because it produces more roots So our first air pruning technique uses a method called grow bags. We'll grow some corn plants in this grow bag. Now this is a very cheap grow bag that you can get from Walmart. You can get this for 50 cents. It's really cheap. And then just to hold the plant in place, I'm using this basket which will hold the bag and the soil in place. Now if you look at the uh surface of the soil, it looks really dry. and this is one of the problems i noticed with grow bags is that you need to use some kind of a mulch to make sure the soil is moist all the time otherwise the bag dries really quick so what happens is that when you grow plants in grow bags the plants send out roots and when the roots reach the outer area of the grow bag they come into contact with air and then they die and the plant produces more roots which means it produces more leaves more stalks more flowers and that's the whole idea of air pruning now one more thing to note is that the grow bag doesn't contain as much soil as let's say a rope bucket container or a whiskey barrel container so considering the amount of soil this bag has the plant has grown really well and that's the whole idea of air pruning when the roots grow it uses all the potting soil that's available to the plant inside the grow bag now let's look at the harvest the harvest looks pretty good it doesn't look very different from a harvest from a regular container so with the grow bag experiment i think we can conclude that and this is just my opinion is that it's really not a magic pill it will let you grow very healthy plants it's earth friendly because you're using grow bags and the concept of root pruning actually works as we'll soon find out i'm removing this bag i'm removing this plant from this grow bag and let's take a look at how the roots are and as you can see here the roots did grow till the edge of the grow bag and then they kind of died and tried to produce more roots that's why you can see some kind of fibrous root mass around the edges but again would you see the same thing in a container probably close that's why it's definitely not a magic pill it's a great way to grow plants but not a magic pill so our second method of air pruning roots is by using baskets that have a lot of holes you can even use buckets and drill holes in them you can use any kind of container and then make holes so that they have a lot of air pockets around them and we're going to use this landscape fabric you can use any kind of weed block landscape fabric whatever you call it make sure the container has a lot of holes because drainage is one of the issues that i've experienced with this kind of a container and since this mix has to drain well i'm using the 511 potting mix as some of you might already know this is a very high porosity potting mix that is made using peat moss perlite and wood chips and once you make the potting mix just make sure that you have enough potting mix for the whole basket it does take up a lot of space and it does need a lot of soil now the bigger container you use the more soil you will need so what you do is just lay your landscape fabric around the basket and th the concept is to make sure that the soil doesn't fall down from those big holes inside the basket but at the same time you want your plants to send out roots towards those wide open areas so that the roots get pruned and you get the effect of the growth with the root pruning now it will be a challenge to hold the landscape fabric while you're adding the potting mix So make sure you use the weight of the potting mix itself so that the landscape fabric stays in place and once you fill it out 
just use a little knife to cut along the edges to make sure you have just enough cloth left over to hold the soil and then you can add some additional mulch if you want I'm just gonna use the same wood chips that I used in the potting mix so that uh, it acts pretty much the same it acts as a good mulch as well to conserve moisture in the soil and now I'm gonna plant this eggplant this eggplant is about one and a half years old I have overwintered it from the previous year and I cleaned up the roots pruned them a little bit and then made sure it stayed in water for about 15 to 20 minutes and we planted this in this air pruning container that we just built now as soon as you plant it make sure the potting mix is adequately moist and let's now see how this plant grows forward from here so as you can see here the water does come out of all the sides of the container which is a good sign it has good drainage and two months later you can see that the plant has caught up really well and this plant is growing very healthy in this air pruning container so what's happening inside is that the plant is sending out roots towards the basket towards the large holes in the basket and then what happens is that when it gets in contact with the air the roots die and then the plant produces more roots so that's the whole science behind air pruning the concept is the same whether you use grow bags in which case your bags would act as the barrier between the soil and the air and in this case these large pockets in this basket which will act as a barrier now once the roots come in contact with the air they will die they will grow again that's just how nature works and as you can see this plant has grown really well for a container of this size I would say that the eggplant has shown really good growth and if you look at the flowers you look at the eggplants that it produces the quality is pretty good now would it have been different if I was growing this in a container well it's really hard to say but it's not like these plants are growing extraordinarily well or there's something that's really different about these plants yes they did produce a lot of eggplants and by overwintering eggplants you can have plants that are very healthy already in the beginning of the growing season and they will produce very well so as you can see here this eggplant a delicious eggplant variety by the way you must check out growing this eggplant variety in my video and at the end of the season nine months later let's remove this plant and as you can see here this container was a very well draining container the soil was pretty well draining and this is one of the advantages of using the 511 max it uh, does have very good porosity very good drainage but the the hardware cloth that I put at the bottom was a little bit wet a little bit soggy not something that I expected I expected the cloth to have better drainage but if you look at the roots again let's look at the roots closely you can see that they did get pruned you can see those fibrous roots around and that's what caused the plant to grow really well so what's our conclusion well this is my opinion by using grow bags or by using these baskets with landscape fabric cloth and introducing this root pruning technique the plants do grow well and there are some other benefits of using these methods that is by avoiding plastic if you use grow bags you avoid plastic you can even uh, see some root pruning when you remove the plants but it's no magic pill it's not that this method will let you grow super big plants without taking any efforts you need to stick to the basics good soil fertilizer regular watering taking care of your plants that's what's going to give you the best plants let me know what you think of air pruning do you think this technique works have you tried it do you use grow bags or this basket method of air pruning your plants do let me know leave a comment and i'll see you again soon happy gardening